If you're looking at a process, you'll see there are some uh, defaults. Here's my value added, non value added, avoidable delays, unavoidable, normal grouped and fixed. These are defaults that are defined over here in the options area and under the default color options here. But there are a number of user defined uh, options that you might want to use uh, depending upon your particular uh, needs. For instance, the Lean, the Kaizen, the SMED, the 5S, and the User Defined. Now, if you go into any of these, you'll see that there are defaults here. Right? You can change them, but in this case, I've actually predefined colors, uh, and that makes it very easy. If I wanted to say there's certain positioning, I can just click on this, and you select Prep Ready. I can just pick in these at random here, but you can see I'm color coding these according to the predefined colors here. So how do you set these up quickly? You'll notice there are defaults for the other ones, but there's no color being set here. So you can decide what you want to do. If I go to the lean analysis, just edit the groups. All you do is you click. I usually leave the not applicable as gray, but you can do any, anything you want here. I can just click on the, the color next to the operation. It'll bring up the color grid, and I can pick the color I want each of these items to be here. So I'm just picking them at random here. And let's make this one maybe the orange. And then this one down here can be maybe the purple. Okay, so we predefined that if you want to add one to it, you just say, I want to do a new one here. And let's just call, say we call it uh, cleanup. And when we save it, we're given the opportunity to uh, to select the color we want to use as well. So let's say I want to use red here, put it right in there. Okay, so once you've got it defined, you click on the done. And you'll see your color selections are, been, are shown here. And then all you do is you highlight it. Let's say there's some... Um, some movement involved. So you might uh, click on the ones that you think uh, are involved movement here, right? So you can do this, uh, these kind of things. Then you can say the inspection is going to be up here, right? The range of small stack, we do that here. And the storage is going to be uh, secure here. So I'm just picking these at random here. So you select your item and then all you do is you basically uh, click on the chips that you want and they'll, they'll be inherit the colors you have here. So that's again the very easy way to define it. So we go to the Kaizen, it's the same thing again. You get your own color codes if you're doing a Kaizen project. You do the same thing, you edit the groups, just click on the items and start to pick the appropriate colors that you want to represent the different uh, uh, Kaizen type activities you have there.